Hey folks, uh, welcome back to Lucky Day Farm. Um, today I'm going to be starting on the uh, chicken run. Um, chickens are going to be having to come outside in about three, four weeks, so I got to get that ready for the girls. So, um, obviously this will be a several day project, so we're going to start it today. Um, kind of go through the process of uh, the run I'm going to build. Um, I'm not going to have... Uh, free range chickens here. Um, we're pretty close to the road. The road gets a little busy in the summer. Um, yeah, so let's uh, get started on this and uh, let's have some fun. All right, so got started here. Um, got the a few of the four by fours in. I'm just gonna use this as uh, my structure around the outside and then I'll be using two by threes to uh, frame the run in. Um, I think it's going to work pretty slick. So, yeah. So it's going to come out about six feet out away from the coop. Um, and then it's going to come out to this side as well. So I got uh, three of the four posts in. Got the fourth one started. And then I got two more posts to go after that. And then I'm just going to put some... Uh, frame the rest of it up with two by threes and on this side of the coop I'm gonna have a little tin roof for the girls for some shelter in the in the elements here in Minnesota um, like I said in my intro I'm not gonna do free range and the big reason is I got a road right here um, I know the girls are gonna be wanting to be on the road um, they're gonna be attracted to that uh, gravel road sitting right there um, and it gets really busy here in the in the summer uh, with the river right here and there's a uh, access right down the road to the to the river so it gets busy so I'm just gonna build a large run for them so I think they're gonna be happy in there so let's uh, keep uh, digging these uh, posts in and uh, let's have some more fun <music> So I got the post in, um, now I'm just going to start on the framing for the uh, hardware cloth. Looking good so far. Of course I got my couple helpers today, got uh, Scani and Lena helping out. Those two are inseparable. Alright folks, it's coming together. Um, cause starting to get the framing up for the uh, chicken wire to hold all these girls in. Um, I'm liking how it's going so far. There it is. So I'm going to have uh, just a hardware uh, cloth across the top and across all the sides here, um, as you can see. The panels are going up there and I'm just going to go all the way across here and all the way down the side here and then uh, over the window here on the end of the coop I'm going to put up a tin roof over here to keep the girls out of the elements so it's coming out pretty good I think I'm uh, going to call it quits for the day all right so I'm ready to start day three on working on the coop here um, let's uh, get to work all right so like I stated I got this side done I'm gonna start uh, building my panels along the end here and around the corner up to the coop and then the next step is gonna be uh, putting the roof on over on this end <music> Alright, 
Got the framing all complete here. Got it all complete for the coupe here. Um, really like how it's coming. Like what it looks like so far. Um, I'm gonna put tin on the roof here. Undecided if that is gonna be you leftover use from the property here if we wanna buy new. Um, might even put clear stuff up on top. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet. Um, we're gonna paint the coop here and get that all painted up and uh, matching the barn and the house and everything else on the property here. So it's gonna look uh, nice and clean. Um, might be asking what am I gonna use this tub for? Well, I'm gonna pull that up. I'm gonna put that up against the coop here and uh, fill it up with uh, sand um, and dirt. Uh, be a nice uh, place for the girls to get their dust baths in. So yeah, pretty slick, liking it. All right, so I was starting to put the roof on and Beth asked, well, how are you gonna paint over the roof when the tin is up? Well, good question. So I guess I'm gonna paint this side of the, of the coop. But wow, what a transition. Uh, there's uh, nothing like paint that'll clean things up, that is for sure. All right, so I got half of the panels on the roof here. Um, as you can see, painted this side of the coop up. It looks really sharp, looks nice and clean. I'm um, using some old uh, recycled tin from the property here. Um, I think it looks pretty sharp. Um, once I have all the tin up here, I am going, my plan is to take um, uh, probably a two by four and go all the way across here in front. Um, have a nice white line in front of the, in front of the roof there too. So I think that's going to look pretty nice. So it's going well so far, like where it's going. Let's keep at it. All right. So we got the roof complete. Um, I don't think it looks too bad. Looks kind of rustic. Um, that's kind of the kind of the look I was looking for. Um, I think it's going to straighten up that bottom edge once I get that uh, board across the bottom there. But uh, looks pretty good, I think. Good enough for who it's for, as they say, right? All right. So the next steps up are uh, obviously putting that board across the bottom. And then I'm going to take a hardware cloth and then uh, start uh, enclosing all, all this run in. Looks pretty good. All right, so it's time to put the hardware cloth up today. Got a chilly April day today. I think it's only supposed to get to about 45. But uh, once I get working, I'll warm myself up a little bit. All right, so what I'm gonna use today, I'm gonna use this Boss Stitch uh, stapler. Got this from Menards. Uh, it's just a hand stapler. So we'll see how this works. I think it's gonna be just fine for the job. Um, and my only concern is, is it gonna go into the wood uh, deep enough and hold the, hold the hardware cloth stable enough for it to hold. So um, it was a fairly inexpensive uh, tool, but uh, we'll check it out and let's try it. All right, so the review on the boss stitch, it does okay. Um, you have to be really consistent of how much pressure you put on the, the stapler when you put it in the board, otherwise it doesn't go in all the way. Um, if you just put the right amount of pressure, it does go into the board all the way. Um, so I think it's gonna do an okay job for today. Um, I don't know if I recommend it or not. It does an okay job. I got uh, first uh, one, two, three, four panels up. Uh, 
It's actually starting to look like a chicken right now. Well, it was before, but it's looking more like it with the with the hardware cloth up. So looking good. Let's keep going at this. So inside the run here, it's uh, starting to look like a run. Feels like a run. There we go, all enclosed. All the walls are up, except for the end there. I'm gonna do that last. Um, the next up is gonna be the roof. And then uh, getting these uh, little sections here where the roof meets the flat area here. So. about this again probably have to throw some paint on this wall before I throw up the roof so that's the next thing coming up all right so I got the door in uh, sorry did not take a video of that just thought of that now um, but I got all the panels done except for this one last one I think I'm gonna leave that to do the very last after I do the roof uh, I'm supposed to get a little bit of rain later tonight so I'm gonna hold off on painting so obviously I can't do the roof until I get the painting done. So it's coming together pretty good. I think I got hams in there and the dum-dum cannot figure out how to get out. Yep, that's hams. Can't figure out how to get out of the, can't figure out how to get out of the coop. All right, so I got the three sides of the coop painted, so Got the side here facing the street on the one side. I got the front side that I did last last week when I did the roof. And now I got the inside of the coop over here. What a difference this makes. Just got the one side to go. I'm gonna have might have to replace a board or two on this side. This side's gonna take a while. All right, so the last thing to do is uh, put the skirt around all sides of the run. Um, there's two different ways we can do this. Um, we could put a skirt out two feet like I have here, or you can dig down one foot straight down and put the fence straight down on it. Um, once again, use hardware cloth. Uh, this will keep all the predators from digging underneath the run to get to the chickens or their eggs. So, all right, folks, got the chicken uh, coop, chicken run uh, all complete. Um, I did. Uh, Put the hardware cloth up across the top for the roof on the part that's not covered with tin. Um, I think it turned out pretty good. Um, overall, I think the project went well. Um, made a few things up as I went, but uh, went pretty good. Um, so once, once again, I used uh, treated two by threes for the structure of the chicken run and then I used a half inch uh, hardware cloth for all the netting um, then for the roof I did use 
recycled tin that was left on the property here um, worked out pretty good so yeah overall good project happy it's complete chickens are ready to come out so thank you everybody for watching um, if you haven't already please subscribe we really appreciate it um, so it's gone in the background there too so hope everybody has a happy and a lucky day see you next week